We're filming video. She we're says, but I want to give kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be doing a cool challenge with my friend Kate here. Kate has her own YouTube channel here. I think it's called Katerella, right? Yeah, Katerella. Yeah, Katerella. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> it's spelled Kate Arella, but I pronounce it Katerella. I know. I know. It's I've weird. been saying it in my mind for Katerella because it yeah, looks I like your name and then Arella. I knew that was going to be an issue, but I was like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be doing a, um, a challenge today, but before we get into that, how about you introduce yourself and talk about your channel. Hi, I'm Kate. <laughs> Katerella. <laughs> <laughs> My channel is just a bunch of miscellaneous things. I do challenge videos. I do discussion videos. What else do I do? I do vlogs, um, all that jazz. It's just a bunch of like things that don't really correspond to each other too much but like if you like enjoy watching a bunch of different videos that's basically what my channel is I don't really have like a set genre of my channel it's just a bunch of different things so it's really fun I have a lot of videos with my friends on there um, including a new collaboration coming soon <laughs> <yours> truly, um, <laughs> with Avery I forgot to say we were friends back in middle school yes, so it's been a while we we're both in other. college so like it's been a long while. Like we've we've obviously talked since then, and we've hung out since then sometimes. Yeah. But like, it's been a while. <laughs> um, we used to be we used to be like really close back mm -hmm. in middle school though. So yeah, it's exciting to do this video yeah. today. So basically, Kate's not a booktuber. Oh. So Kate doesn't, let's say, have a book collection. Like <laughs> me. So um, I thought it would be really fun. I saw <clears throat> this on Christine's channel from Pulling Bananas Books where um, she had her brother and her mother. She held up a book and they had to guess what the summary is on the book just by the title and the cover. So I thought that'd be really fun for us to do. So I'm gonna be doing that with you today. I'm gonna do some popular books. A few of them aren't so popular, but they're my favorite ones and I think it'd be really funny for you to see, to guess what they're about. Yeah. So the first book is very popular on my channel specifically, and that is Salt to the Sea by Rudis of Petties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Take your take a wild shot, like what genre it is you think it is, or what do you think it's about? Okay, so it looks scary. Um, <laughs> it you looks, already know I don't read scary. I know, books. <laughs> but it looks like ominous and kind of mm -hmm. like, mm, what's gonna happen? Anyway, That's kind of true. Um, salt to the sea. Well, there is salt in the sea, so <laughs> I'm not gonna be <laughs> stupid and be like, it's about salt in the sea. <laughs> There's a life preserver, so I think maybe someone drowns. That's a good guess. Or like something bad happens on the sea to the That's a really good guess. That's the, a really good, that's the, close. Okay, to the protagonist or something happens to like their family or their friends. Something bad happens that affects the protagonist. This is a historical fiction book set in World War II. Oh. And this is about the biggest shipwreck ever. Like the biggest number of human casualties ever known to date for a shipwreck. Oh, dang. It's not the Titanic. It's called the Wilhelm Guslov. Okay. Basically like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people died off this ship where they had like um, over capacity uh -huh. and it's about four teenagers and they all end up meeting on this boat. Mm -hmm. They have all four different, four, four different perspectives. It's one of my favorite books of all wow. time. So. You were really close though. Yeah. yeah. There's a shipwreck and everything like that. So cool. Next we have These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Let me show, sorry, the ring light. Yeah, ring light. Hey, it's up? a very shiny cover. What do you think? Um, you can hold the book if you want. I'm getting Jesus vibes. Jesus vibes. <laughs> The, yeah, the god and the <laughs> Adam. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. <laughs> These Broken Stars. I think it's a romance novel. It's kind of a romance book. Okay. Yeah. Um, There's romance in it. Maybe they're like best friends or lovers and they're like reaching for each other. So maybe it's like one of those books where it's about like, oh, I want to have you, but I can't have you yet. That's kind of what it's about. <laughs> maybe. But like, okay, so this is a sci-fi book. Oh, okay. So it's set in space. And, oh, um, stars, duh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this woman, her name is Lilac. She is, like, the daughter of this big honcho in, like, the space travel industry. Mm -hmm. And, um, so, like, she's basically, like, the president's daughter, if you think about it. Okay. And this guy, his name's, um, name is escaping me. Tarver. Oh. Tarver. <laughs> this big, renowned, um, war hero. Mm -hmm. And so, their spaceship that they're on to, like, get somewhere ends up crash landing on, like, a remote planet, and they're the only two survivors. Oh, snap. So they have to try and survive on this planet together. Oh, wow. And try and, like, reach out to their people. Cool. So. Okay, this is a fun one. We have Geekerella by Ashley Poston. You think about your channel name. Geekerella. Geekerella. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Getting aerial vibes. Aerial vibes. <laughs> 
<laughs> that dude has green hair. What's going on it's with that? It's a girl. It's a dog! It's okay. a girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> she just has short hair. Oh, okay. So, two chicks. Um, but then you can also flip it over. There's something on the Magic back. pumpkin. Oh, there's a bro. Oh, movie set. Is it like an actor type thing? Ooh. That's, that's Geek a, that, Oh, that's good. is it like, has, does it have something to do with like acting and then, but Geekerella, maybe she's like a really geeky film artist person, but the, the, that's the, really close. That's really close. There's a dog. I like the dog. Is there a dog in the book? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, this is a Cinderella retelling. Oh, nice. <laughs> Involving fandom. So basically. Oh, that's cute. Her name's Ella. And, um, she really loves this show called Starfield. It's basically our Star Trek. Okay. And they have this, like, convention, like, Comic-Con every year. Yeah. And it's really popular there. And her dad actually made the convention, like, started it. Oh, wow. But her dad has passed away, and she now lives with her mother and stepsisters. And so this guy ends up getting the role for the new reboot for the show. Uh Uh-huh. And she doesn't like him, like, at all. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like him at all. And they end up accidentally meeting at this comic-con that they're at so it has cinderella vibes to it because he doesn't know who she is and all this stuff oh cute so like they end up accidentally exchanging numbers somehow Mm -hmm. and they don't know who the other person is when in actuality in real life they hate each other oh wow next is really i think easy you have a daughter of the pirate king by trisha levenseller Ooh, merida (laughs) (laughs) are we all just doing (laughs) everything that just reminds me of oh she has really crazy red hair Mm -hmm. she has a sword daughter of the pirate king well Maybe it's about a daughter of a pirate king. A plus. <laughs> yeah. A plus. And she, maybe something bad happens to her dad and she wants to get revenge or like That's a good guess. Justice. That's a good guess based on the title. Or maybe she's like captain of the ship and she's like, huzzah. Ooh, that's good. Okay. But her dad, unfortunately, is not dead. Yeah, this is about a daughter of the pirate king. Uh-huh. Basically, she runs her own ship and her dad has tasked her with trying to find all the pieces to this really important map to find treasure. Okay. Um, and she has to pretend to be a captive on this boat. Uh-oh. Like, these people capture her when she actually meant to be captured so she could find the piece of this map right. on this boat. And she ends up falling for the guy who captured her. Uh-huh. Like, it's it's an adventure book about pirates and with some romance sprinkled in there. Cool. So, I like all these books so far. <laughs> what the heck? I'm gonna have to read them now. Next, you said you liked adventure. Yes. And everything. And this is, like, really no popular on booktube for knowing, like, the adventure okay. fantasy book. We have Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Okay. I'm excited <laughs> to hear what you think this is about. <laughs> there's a song. <laughs> there's a song? There, no, there's a song about crows. My boyfriend knows what song this is. It's, like, Something Something Flies the Crow. It's based on a movie or, like, Oh, I haven't something. heard of that. Or maybe it's based on a book. I don't know. Anyways, okay, Six of Crows. Six Dangerous Outcasts, One Impossible Heist. Ooh, wait, have I heard of this? Is there a movie based on this? No, but there oh. might be a TV show coming to Netflix soon. The the rights got... I have definitely I definitely recognize this. Okay. The rights got bought by Netflix. Yeah, They're going to make a TV definitely show. definitely recognize this, because I remember their outcasts. I remember seeing something about it. Anyways, yeah, Six Dangerous Outcasts, One Impossible <laughs> Heist. They're like on a mission to do something, but they're t- six totally different people. You're right. And <laughs> they kind of gave it away, but yeah, yeah you're right. I so, know, I definitely recognize yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a fantasy book. It's very, very, very popular in the booktube community. Basically, it's a fantasy book where there are six different characters, people. Like, there's, like, a assassin. There's, like, war soldier. There's, like, someone possibly with magic in there, too. Ooh. And they have to go... I'm not going to tell you what the heist is, but they have to complete this heist, and they have to go find something and do something. Mm-hmm. And um, it's very, very, very action-packed. Ooh. And I think... Out of this list, you would like this one the most. Okay, so. cool. But yeah, they're coming out with a Netflix TV show. Next is a funny one. <laughs> I'm excited. You have Riley Screwed by Emma Chase. <laughs> That's a shirtless man. <laughs> oh my god, he's doing this. <laughs> Good lord. Royalty screwed. Royally screwed. <laughs> Royally screwed. Well, I'm assuming he's a king or a prince. He looks like a prince. A plus on that. Cool. He's a prince. <laughs> and maybe he's like trying to court people and find himself a lady and get royally screwed. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good guess. It's actually, that's actually what the second book is about. <laughs> the second book is about his brother and he like is the center of attention bachelor royal edition uh-huh. in the second book. <laughs> so that's what that one is about. So basically this is about a prince. Or prince. maybe he's like messed up. Like, like he has, he's like messing up being a 
prince or something. Like, Ooh, royally screwed. You're royally screwed, that's man. Kind of, that has something to do with it. So, you, you, this guy you, is you. Prince um, <laughs> Nicholas. He's the heir to the throne of Wesco. Wesco is a made-up country. I think of it as, like, Genovia. Sounds like Westeros. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I, I think of it as, like, Genovia from, like, Princess Diaries. It doesn't okay. exist. He does not really want to be prince at all. He takes over his duties, though. Like, he's very responsible with his duties and all this stuff. He doesn't really want to <laughs> Duty, be... <sorry. laughs> he doesn't really want to be... <laughs> Prince, though. And he takes a trip to New York City, and, um, he walks into this bakery late at night, this coffee shop late at night, mm-hmm. and, um, he ends up, like, bothering the owner. So this guy, like, always has girls, like, falling at his feet for him because he's mm-hmm. a prince, mm-hmm. and instead of this woman doing that, she throws a pie in his face instead. Oh, same. And it's, like, the repercussions of that, and, oh. like, him trying to, like, trying to woo her, uh-huh. even though she doesn't want to be wooed, uh-huh. <laughs> you know? Oh. I really love this series. Okay, next we have another really beloved book on beloved. booktube. We have okay. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Okay. I love this cover. It's one of my favorite covers of all time. He looks like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> he looks like Newt. Newt Scamander? Yeah. <laughs> he does look like Newt Scamander. Um, Rainbow. Oh, Carry that's On. The, that's the author. Oh, okay. That's kind of confusing, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Carry On. Um, oh, there are eyes in the... Oh, there's, like, a monster in the background. Mm-hmm. Um, they both got swords. He has a wand. Magic. Mm-hmm. So I think it's fantasy. Ooh, yep. Or sci-fi or fantasy or something. But he has a sword. He has a wand. So it's definitely, like, the magic of some type. You're right. They're obviously off to fight something. Maybe that monster. Ooh, is that a dragon? Wait, <laughs> I just saw it. I saw the rest of that. It's a dragon. Is that a dragon? Um, yeah. Is it the wagon? Yep. Okay. Ooh, I like dragons. Okay, so maybe they're fighting a dragon, or they're saving a dragon, or they're befriending a dragon. Good guess. And Good they're guess. just kicking butt. I don't really know what this is about. <laughs> First off, behind you, there's this book called Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Mm-hmm. It's about this girl who writes fan fiction in her spare time. Okay. And the fan fiction is about... I used to do that for One Direction. We don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> she writes fan fiction for this series called Simon Snow. Okay. It's basically Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. It's Harry Potter. Magical based, eight books, that kind of thing. It's oh. Harry Potter. It's called Simon Snow. And so she writes a fan fiction. It's very popular. Like, mm-hmm. very, very popular. Like, millions and millions and millions of hits. So Rainbow Rowell decided to actually write Carry On, her fan fiction. Oh. But it has nothing to do with her. Like, she's not in the story. Yeah. So it's basically Simon Snow. It's kind of like a retelling of Harry Potter. We have Simon, who is basically, like, the chosen one that's not, like, the worst chosen one in the world, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, he's the chosen one, but, like, he's like, horrible at magic, like, he just, people say that, like, he, like, he sucks, like, you know, <laughs> um, and he has his roommate named Baz, mm-hmm. who may or might not be a vampire, love that, witch, love that. wizard, and there may be a romance between them, even though they both hate each other. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so, Interesting. um, yeah, they're trying, um, Simon's just try, trying to destroy, like, the evil. <laughs> Next is my favorite young adult fantasy book. Um, we have Bring Me Their Hearts by Sarah Wolf. Ooh. Why don't you guess what? Is this that's about. bring me their hearts? Oh, she's pretty. Mm-hmm. Whoever did this art is. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yes, I, love, I love illustration on covers. Is this like a Snow White type? That's a good guess based on the based on the um, maybe title. It's about the queen? No, okay. That's, gonna... a, that's a good guess though. If like you didn't know what this book is yeah, about, yeah, I was yeah. gonna guess it's maybe like about the queen trying to get Snow White's heart. That's that's a good guess, but no. she's hecka pretty. <laughs> she's really pretty. So yeah. basically. This is a book where um, witches are able to create people called Heartless. Kind of like zombies. They take their heart out of a chest and they put it in a jar and that witch can control this person. Oh, wow. And so she is a Heartless. So Uh this witch has her heart. And the witches in the community have made her go to the um, palace Mm -hmm. to um, get in the, get in like, kind of like the bachelor, to compete in like the bachelor kind of thing with mm-hmm. royalty they dress her up try and make her pretend she's like this really grand duchess kind of thing mm-hmm. um to try and win the prince's heart because the witches and the humans the king whatever have mm-hmm. been at war with each other for a long time so yeah. they're trying to control them so they're thinking oh if Z- her name's zira if zira can go and capture this prince's heart like turn him into a heartless mm-hmm. we can essentially control the king and okay. win this war cool. so it's her trying to go and capture the dude's heart, even though she has no feelings since she's a heartless, but she mm-hmm. ends up developing feelings mm-hmm. for this prince, maybe. Ooh, so, okay. It's my favorite fantasy book at the moment, and it's <clears throat> wonderful. It deserves way more hype. Just cool. Saying. We have Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Interesting. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I'm thinking it's a kind of 
animatronic robot thing. That is spot on. Yeah, because the thing. Mm-hmm. In the, like, Look at the title. Cinder. The, is that Cinder? What is Cinder a part of? Like Cinderella. There you go. So Cinderella is a robot. Okay. 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 <laughs> Spot on. Okay. So this is a sci-fi kind of like dystopian mm-hmm. book. Basically, um, it's set in, on Earth like years in the future. Cyborgs now exist, and you can like travel to the moon, and people live on the moon. They're called like lunars. Mm-hmm. Um, they have like magical powers. But basically, this is a retelling of Cinderella, mm-hmm. and Cinderella is a cyborg. Oh wow. Yeah. And next we have the last one, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, she looks cool. Ooh, fans of Game of Thrones and the Hunger Games will love it. Okay. <laughs> I see you. Okay. I think you'd actually really love this series. Just by okay. The um, Throne of Glass, royalty-based. That possibly. has something to do with the first book. Yep. Okay, because I see a throne um, mm-hmm. of glass. There's a lot of Cinderella vibes going on in my list. Girl. Is it Cinderella-related? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's like, it looks modern. Well, the front of it looks modern. Like, kind is she, of. like, rustic? Or it could be medieval. Is it medieval? Um, no, it's fantasy. Okay. Yeah, she just wears cool clothes. Yeah. So maybe it's Cinderella, and she's a badass. <laughs> basically. That's basically it. So when I first read this, I didn't know that it was Cinderella recently. Oh, okay. I learned later on the author was saying, oh, I was trying to make this Cinderella-related. Mm-hmm. It's a very, very, very we have our main character selena sardothian and she is an assassin Ooh. there's this king and he has this like competition every year mm-hmm. and each it's kind of like the this competition is kind of like the voice the judge the judges or the main people have like competitors to vie against each other to mm-hmm. try and win mm-hmm. so each person has like their um champion and they're trying to like all play each other to win okay and if you win you become the king's champion and basically serve for the king and all these like rich people they have to pick a champion to play for them and so she is basically a slave in these mines the prince of the king the son of the king Mm -hmm. goes to the mine and tells her you need to be my champion and i'll like you'll be free Mm -hmm. and so it's basically the inner workings of that she has to deal with maybe someone killing people killing some of the other champions like in secret it also gets way 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 bigger than that there's like a Eight books, seven books. Wow. So, um, this is one of the most popular books in the community, so. Cool. It's also kind of, like, love triangle-y, so it's kind of, uh, like, reminds me of The Hunger Games. Yeah. So, that's why it says Fans of the Hunger Games. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any books on here that you would think you would read? Just um, off the bat, like, pick, like, one or two. Okay. What do you think you would read? I'd probably read, um, I really did like this Six one. of Crows, yeah. yeah? I don't know. I really liked, shoot, what was this one about? Um, the sci-fi with them crash landing on a oh yeah planet. this one probably okay this one sounded really cool okay so mm-hmm. six of crows and no, these broken stars mm-hmm. well those are some amazing books so cool and if you want to borrow them go ahead awesome so what did you think about this did you like learning about some yeah. new books yeah <laughs> no that was really cool because like right now I'm reading Stephen King books and that's like kind of the only genre I'm sticking towards right now is like Stephen King so it was like cool to like learn about other books because I've never heard of any of these <laughs> like never <laughs> and like I visit the bookstore not like super often but like I've never seen these so it's really cool to- I had fun that was so much fun to do yeah and it was cool to like because like if I saw this in the bookstore I like I wouldn't pick I wouldn't pick this up like just because of the cover yeah yeah and I know I know don't judge a book by its cover <laughs> but like but like it was cool to like sit down like some of these when you held them up I was like oh that doesn't really look that good but then like when you <laughs> talked about it and like explained the storyline I was like oh just kidding I actually really like it yeah the so. the covers like they sometimes show you and sometimes don't show you what yeah. it's all about but so less I judge you. book by its cover literally all the time I have yeah. so many books I have bought based on the cover you yeah. have no idea we had a lot of fun I hope y'all had a lot of fun watching too be sure if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and be sure to go check out Kate's channel I will link her down below leave a comment down below if you've read any of these books because I'd love to start up a conversation with you about them down in the comments. Um, but anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>